What is up guys? Chew's wife here. Um, there's that Chew behind the camera. What's up? Uh, he said he wanted me to do some of the stuff that we got from our convention today. And I guess starting here we've got Messy in white and Peanut who's looking off into the distance. And you may see a little armadillo dog named Pearl hop up at some point. We've adopted two new pups to go with our little messy here. Um, so without further delay, we can get into kind of what we got today. So the first thing is um, I got my poster signed that I've been working on getting signed for a while. Um, this is my Oron poster. And we met the lovely Lucy Christian today. And so she she's the voice of Honey Senpai down here. Look how cute he is. And so she gave me a little signature there on him so that I can work on completing all those. I still haven't met Maury Senpai, the voice of him, or the voice of the twins. Um, so, but still working on it. Uh, she was lovely to meet. Um, Hubby got, he didn't bring it in here, but his Full Metal Panic uh, DVD uh, set signed. Um, Tell them who she's the voice of. She's the voice of Konami, and that would be the third voice actress or voice actor that I've met for that series. I miss I met Chris Patton before. He's the voice of Sosuke, and Vic Mignogna, who is the voice of Kurtz, which was kind of cool. Now I have all three of them together, and that was the only person we actually met. We had we Austin St. John was there. We had met him previously. David Fielding, the voice of Zordon, was there. We met him as well. Chris Rager and Josh Martin were there, being the lovely, weird couple that they are. We saw that they were there, uh, and a few others. But um, those were the main people that were basically there. But we just really wanted to meet Lucy Christian there. So it was really fun experience. It was a short one. It sucks that there was no panels. But an interesting little detail was that she actually got big after Full Metal Panic, which was my personal favorite series um, back in the day, and I still love it today, so great little series. Okay, so moving on. Um, one of the things that I got that I really like is I got this lovely picture of Stitch, and it said, Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten, which is one of the signature phrases in the show. Um, the guy who drew this is by a storyboard artist that works for Disney, EA Games, Nickelodeon's Netflix, and Disney Channel. Um, and he's actually currently going to be working on a new Lilo and Stitch comic book that's going to be coming out. So I'm kind of excited to see where that goes. And his name is Jonathan Pilot. This there, is Pearl. This is the armadillo dog. This is the armadillo dog. So, but yeah, so I really like this print. I really love Lilo and Stitch as a whole. This is actually one of the scenes that like will make you cry a little bit because it's where he's sitting in the woods and he's reading the Ugly Duckling and he's saying, I'm lost. And he's looking for his family. So I love that scene. It's very powerful and I really love this print. So that was awesome. So Hubby was looking for some manga because he's always looking for manga. If you haven't seen his second channel, you should. That's where he does his reviews and some of his manga haul videos. So we got a few today because they were 20% off cover price. And these are ones you don't see very often in other places. So um, he got a One Punch Man Volume 20. Mm -hmm. uh, Shokugeki or Food Wars Volume 6 with lovely Alice on there and Ryuk. And Naruto Volume 72, which is the, the last. last one, he said. Mm -hmm. And then he got for me, of course, an incurable case of love. I've been working through that one a little bit. It's it's in volume nurse, so of course I'm going to like it. So, got those four. And then he found this is the White Tiger Zord um, Funko Pop. He said he didn't have this one. Pretty sure I don't have that one. So we got it today. Um, it's part of the 25th anniversary collection and it was supposed to be a Hot Topic exclusive. And, yep. Alright, so we didn't get a ton of stuff. Uh, we, you know, our house is kind of full of anime and 
everything we love. So we don't try to get too much anymore. We just try to find like cool little pieces that we really want or that would fit well with our collections. Um, but we both love a good surprise. So we actually picked out two grab bags, which we have no idea what's in them currently. We just looked at the tags. One is Power Rangers, because you know my hubby loves some Power Rangers, and Star Wars, because he also loves Star Wars. And we're gonna see what's in these. See if it was worth the money, maybe not, but you know, no harm, no foul, I guess. Just don't look. I won't, I won't look. All right, they're stapled together, so I can't really see anything anyway, so I gotta open them up. And this is the Power Rangers one. All right, so let's start off with what's in here. Let's we'll start off with something small, I guess. It is a little Mighty Morphin Power Ranger the movie figure. Cool. So we don't know what's in there. I'll let him open that. And you have to open it. Mm. I'm a camera person. I don't want to mess it up. That's fine. Which one do you want? What do you mean? I don't really know. I mean, I guess the Red Ranger. Since he's the cool one. Ranger. All right. So, apparently she's not very rare, but I think her helmet comes off. Yeah, her little helmet comes off. Mm, cool. Cute little Kimberly there. Okay. That's a cute little thing. Oh, Rita Repulsa. Rita, also a Hot Topic exclusive, which you don't have. I do not have her. But she's from the newer mm -hmm. movie. Yes, but I mean, she was still evil. So, okay. Cool. All right. Black Ranger. Cool. He's all in black. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I feel like there's one that I could in here. What is it? Beast Morphers Power Ranger. Interesting, to say the least. Not a fan, so may not keep that, <laughs> but cool. Jack Beastbot. I don't know what that is. That's not really our thing when it comes to Power Rangers, so I think there is one more thing in there. I heard something shake. Um, it is a December 2014 Loot Crate Anniversary pin. Oh, whoa. Whoa. All right. So that's the Power Rangers one. It wasn't bad. It was some interesting things. Wasn't bad. I don't know. I mean, do you think it was worth the 20 bucks? I mean, it's not bad. I mean, you probably would have just gotten one of them. True. Okay. All right. So next we have our Star Wars goodie bag. What are the chances that we'll get like an Anakin? Oh, yeah, no. Or a Darth Maul? No way. All right. What is it? Ooh, a Star Wars lollipop. Wow. 
This is why they usually are a toss up. Loot crate, loot pin, alter ego. All right, put that to the side. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. Okay, not really Star Worthy. All right. Oh boy, Kylo Ren. A lanyard. A lanyard with Kylo Ren on it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Not really the Star Wars stuff we were wanting. All right, let's keep going. Who is it? Is that Shmi? Lando. Okay, Lando's oh, cool. Lando. Lando's cool. That little General Lando Calrissian. Well, that's not bad. No, he's kind of cute. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that's a good one, that's a good one. Not sure that we would have normally bought him, but you know, he's a good character. A BB-8 eraser. Okay. A vinyl... Oh, I see it. Vinyl, uh... Darth Vader. Darth Vader. That you can put on something. A car? <laughs> Captain Phasma. No, see, she could have been done more with. Like, they could have really made her a good character. But they just kind of, spoilers here, killed her off for no reason. Could have been a real threat, but decided to just kill her off. Hmm. Mm, two little buttons in here, just like the other ones. A Batman and a an angel. I love when Batman showed up to save Luke. I love that. <laughs> when Batman saved Luke, that was great. Yeah, little praying angel. Oh, okay, I'm not sure how that was. Now you gotta remember that scene. Luke, Luke was in really bad danger, oh, and okay. Batman came out of nowhere and saved him from the Emperor. Pearl, how do you feel about this? Apparently not very well. Um. Okay, so... I mean, overall, I guess this isn't a bad little haul. Um, Considering we haven't done these in a long, like we haven't gone to a convention in over a year, I think this wasn't too bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I would have, like, paid 40 bucks for that stuff. No, but I mean, altogether, it was probably worth more than 40 Maybe, but... I don't know about the lollipop, though. <laughs> but yeah, still a good time, still fun, still something different to try. Um, again, this was the South Carolina Comic Con down in Greenville, South Carolina. It takes about three hours to get there, but it was worth it. Um, definitely don't regret going. Definitely had a great time. And I think that's kind of it. You got anything else, honey? No, it was really fun, like, like you said, to uh, get out of the house again. And just to be able to be back in the world of conventions because it's been too long. And it just felt good. It felt natural. And honestly, I kind of hope that conventions can start becoming more normal all around because people need them you know people need them and i know the vaccines are coming out and stuff like that some people wear masks some don't everyone to their own discretion just got to keep yourself and yours safe but i mean i'm thinking that conventions are gonna be more and more throughout the u.s and probably around the world i think things are gonna slowly get back to normal and you know going here today it felt like Everyone was enjoying themselves. We even saw people hugging each other because, I mean, I'm sure some of them are local. So it was fun. So hopefully, you know, the future of conventions are going to be bright. And hopefully we get to see people in our next convention. We have lined up to possibly go to the one in Raleigh, North Carolina. We have had tickets for that since last year. So we're hoping, hoping that maybe we'll have some panels. Or hopefully we get to have more people because... It'll be fun. Hopefully it's just managed better because, I mean, that one's supposed to be a way bigger than this one. This one was small in comparison, but it was still fun. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with um, 
if it goes down and how it goes down. We'll see how all that plays out later in the summer. But overall, just fun. It was really enjoyable to get out and just be in that, in that kind of scenery again. So, really had fun. But with that, I guess we'll close out the, this, I guess you could say, haul video. With this, um, I guess, our little experience with Lucy Christian. I wish there had been a few more, but hey, we've already met him. We'll meet more in the future. But... Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment, and below your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I greatly appreciate that. It helps out. And as always, though, take care of yourselves and others. And I will when we will catch you later.